Hello everyone. We will continue the topic usual ABAP class. And in the previous video, we took the requirement that our input will be multiple sales document number. And whenever you want to go for multiple sales document number, it is always, always through select option. And select option is a internal table of four columns, sign, option, low, and high. Now, our input, our input is also, also a internal table of how many column? Four column. If I want a internal table of four column, it means I require a structure type of four column. Now, I cannot create a structure through types here because there is no provision to write a code here. It means I will create a structure through which transaction code? SC11 transaction code. So I will go to SC11 transaction code and we will create a structure. Suppose my name of the structure is ZSTR. Suppose we will give range of sales order. Range of sales order. You can give any name to structure. It is totally your wish. We'll go for create. I will create a structure. I will give the structure. I'll give the short description. Now, what are those four columns in the structure? Sign, option, low and high. Do not change the name. Go by this names only. They are predefined names because select option is a internal table and that internal table always, always has four columns. Sign, option, low and high. So firstly, I will go to sign. What is the length of sign we saw in the debugging mode? It is always, always character one. If you see character one, name starts with C. It is a SAP predefined data element. I'll save it as a local object. You can see which has a domain of character one. You can choose, you can use your existing data element also, which is of character one. It is totally your wish but it must be of character one because the value is I, I include. Now we have second thing is option. Now, what is the length of option? We saw in that debugging mode, character two, character two. So character two is also a SAP predefined data element which has a domain of character two. Now we will go for low and we will go for high. Now we all know very well the low and high length depends upon the field for which field you are creating select option. And we are creating select option. We are creating range for what sales document number. So I will simply, simply take that data element of sales document number. And you can see character 10 came because this data element has a domain of character 10. So we created the structure type of four columns. I will activate. Now, this is the structure. Now we will go for our param. We will go for our class method. Now our input is a input is a range. We need to go for range of order numbers, or we can say multiple values of order number. Suppose I'm saying 
S V B E L N. I can give any name. It is of which type? Importing. Now, how I can make a internal table? Internal table type table of this is the name of your structure type. This is the name of your structure type. Just see. Do you have a provision to write type table of here? There is no such provision and we previously also discussed. There is no such provision to write type table of. If there is no provision to write type table of, it means we need to create a table type because our input is now a internal table range table so it means if i want a internal table i created the structure type yes but i cannot use type table of word here it means i need to create a table type now just see do you have a provision here to create a table type through coding? No, we cannot create. It means we need to create a table type through SC11 transaction code. So we will create a table type. Previously, we also did same to same thing. It's just a repetitive learning. Now, I'll copy the name of the structure. And I will create a table type. I will go for create table type. I will give the short description table type. Now we will give the name of the structure inside this table type. I am activating the table type. So now our table type is ready. Now, if we have a table type, there is no need to write type table of. So, how I will write internal table type table. I'll just copy again. So, our input is also, also a range table or we can say our input is also a internal table of how many columns? Four columns. Now, output is same to same. We are going for four column data from BBAK, two column data from BBAP. So I will simply write LT underscore output. That will be our exporting. There is no need to create a new table type. You can use the existing one because we already created. So I'll just open the same class in other session. If you see get data method, you can copy same to same table type. There is no need to create every time. Again, if something is available, we can use. So our input is ready. Our output is ready. I will activate up to this level. Now we will write the logic. I will simply, simply go for, just put the cursor on the right method because now we have multiple methods. I will go to source code or you can double click. It's your wish how you want to go. Now we will write the logic inside this method. Now, from the logic perspective, is there any difference? No difference. We are fetching data from VBAK, VBAP, then we are merging. The only difference is rather than single sales order number, we have multiple sales order number. So, I will simply copy the logic because our logic is totally same. So I will copy the logic and I will paste. Now, what are the differences we need to do? Now, 
rather than equal to now we need to use what in in because now we have range of order number we have multiple values of order number so we need to use in we cannot go for equal to and what is the name s v b e l only this change is required rest everything is same our output is same same to same parameter i'll check the syntax and i will activate the class method so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we took importing parameter we took exporting parameter both are internal table our input is a range internal table and our output is also a internal table of six column input is a internal table or range table of four column then after that we have written based upon that we created a structure type we created a table type and we use the table type with this input parameter output is same to same so we simply simply copy paste in terms of logic we simply copy paste but rather than equal to we used in because we have range and we just change the name of the parameter in the next video we will run this class method and we will call inside the program so that's it in this video thank you